portalu Antistres Vodič govorimo o tome kako promeniti svoj život, kako živjeti bolji život, biti zadovoljan ti životom kojim živite i kako se u stvari izboriti sa stresom. Da li rekonekcija ili rekonektivno iceljivanje ima rješenje za to? I believe the first key to this is recognizing that we live in a field of uncertainty, of infinite potential. We go against this field when we try to organize everything to such a degree that we lose its potential. They say that fear is the fear of the unknown, but do we need to fear the unknown? Can we float in the ocean with our eyes closed for five minutes and feel happy knowing that wherever we discover ourselves when we open our eyes, it's perfect. Can we recognize that we, fear is something of the future that has not arrived for us and yet in the present we're always okay. When we try to control an outcome, when we try to create an outcome to be something specific for us, we might achieve it and we might not. But when we let go of trying to control it and discover a freedom and a beauty in the unknown, then we might discover a result that we wouldn't have allowed for ourselves if we were the ones in the control booth. With reconnective healing, we explain that on a basic level, if you get the healing that you have in mind, you're lucky. But to move beyond lucky into truly fortunate, then you might receive a healing you haven't even dreamed of, one that the universe has designed uniquely for you. Stress comes from fearing the outcome which keeps us in fear during the process. Something huge and unknown gives us an option. We can be in fear of it, or we can be in awe of something wonderful. I choose to live in awe.